Let's talk about this guy that we uh, who opened up for uh, Donald Trump the other night. J.R. Majewski? In Ohio. Uh, I don't know if everybody remembers. Let's just play a clip to remind everybody about this guy. He was very, very funny. Uh, he told everybody he got up and, uh, you know, he gave everybody his pronouns. This is a good one. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're just as excited as me to see the greatest president that the country has ever seen. Predator. Donald Trump. Yeah, predator. He's predator. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is J.R. Majewski. <laughs> J.R. Majewski. My pronouns are patriot and ass kicker. Yeah, okay. Uh, patriot and ass kicker. Oh, yeah. I kicked a lot of ass over in Afghanistan. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Let's actually listen to him. He was asked about that, actually, um, on the One America uh, podcast host, uh, Chase Geyser, back in August. Asked him about his, uh, his time there. Time kicking ass. He doesn't like to talk about it too much. He didn't want to did be- you serve in Afghanistan? Yes, I did. How many tours? One. What What year were you there? What years? Uh, 2000, 2002, 2003. Wow. So you served right at, right at the beginning. Yeah. What was that experience like? Um, tough. Tough. I don't like talking about my military experience. Not 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 that um, not that we've said too much. I just don't. I don't really like to. I really don't like to divulge a lot of things about the military because, you know, they're to me, you know, it was a, it was a tough time in life. Um, you know, the military wasn't easy, but in retrospect, it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. And, you know, I do it all over again, but, you know, out of respect of, of you know, many things, you know, I, I, you know, my answer to most people when they ask about my military services, you know, I served, I served honorably and, um, I fought for this country for a lot of months over in the middle East. And, uh, so did a lot of people that went with me. And, you know, when I see all these things that are going on today, I mean, if I could, if I could, uh, put my BDUs back on, if I wasn't so chubby. I'd, I'd probably, uh, I'd probably try to find a way to do it. Yeah, that is, you know what? We got to respect that, right? Because it, it's been it's been tough. It's 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 uh, humility to not want to talk about it so constantly if you're a politician. Well, yeah, Patriot uh, definitely was showing the proper amount of uh, humility. And I'll also say that ass kicker uh, definitely, you know, that type of modesty is you got to appreciate that. Um, except <laughs> uh, it turns out that um, the AP did some investigating and uh, it appears that uh, military documents obtained by the Associated Press through a public records request tell a slightly different story Hmm. than the one that uh, ass kicker or Patriot just told. Um, According to the AP, they indicate Majewski never deployed to Afghanistan. Not for many months or just never. Uh, never. Oh. <laughs> well, not just for not for many months. For no months. Wow. Yeah. But instead, completed a six-month stint. That's a tour. Helping to load planes at an airbase in Qatar. Longtime U.S. ally that is a safe distance from the fighting. And apparently, according to the AP, Majewski's account of his time in the military is just one aspect of his biography that is suspect. His post-military career has been defined by exaggerations, conspiracy theories, talk of violent action against the U.S. government, and occasional financial duress, which, of course, many Americans go through. Um, Majewski's campaign declined to make him available for an interview, and in a lengthy statement issued to the AP, did not directly address the questions about his claim of deploying to Afghanistan. Well, I mean... LOL. <laughs> you can not kill me with these. Like, I mean, he, it's, it's, actually, it's uncouth to ask him too many questions about this, excuse right? Excuse me, because, excuse me. Yeah? It's, oh. You just uh, mispronounced. I mispronounced. I mispronoun- it is uncouth Patriot to... or ass kicker. <laughs> it is uncouth to ask ass kickers uh, ask kicker to 
recount ass kickers military service given the extreme trauma that ass kicker must have gone through right and look at how respectful we're being like we think his pronouns probably should be like liar but we're gonna honor him by calling him ass you think what (laughs) you think ass kickers pronouns should be thank you liar lies (laughs) um but unfortunately uh Ask or the Patriot has gone with Patriot slash ass kicker. Um, I think you could also refer to ass kicker as fabulist. Is, is that a word? Fabulist? Yeah, fabulist, fantasist. Yeah. Um, and we should say that it appears, and you know, they were looking at this. He's running against Marcy Kaptur, who's a district sort of uh, revamped and made into a far more like Trump friendly district. And there was. This was one of the bellwether seats that was, you know, they were going to look at. And it's no longer a bellwether seat uh, insofar as like it's not a, um, uh, you know, it's not really going to tell you about anything else uh, that's going on because the House Republicans have now, according to Politico, cut loose candidate who misled about military service. The move comes a day after an Associated Press reports that Captor's opponent, J.R. Majewski, mm. excuse me, J.R. Majewski, uh, lied about his resume, including claiming he deployed to, uh, including claiming that Patriot deployed to Afghanistan. Yeah, please. Can these news outlets get with the times? Um, the National Republican Congressional Committee booked $960,000 in Toledo, Ohio market to help boost J.R. Majewski. Uh, the House campaign arm is slashing the near $1 million ad by uh, essentially walking away what could have been an easy pickup for the party. They're like, we could probably get the seat to be read, but further associating ourselves with uh, Patriot is probably not going to be beneficial. And uh, we'll put our money elsewhere. Real shame the way that the uh, Republicans are treating Patriot canceling him. Yeah, canceled discrimination. Probably you can't, does he? If if you can't say that you served many months in the Middle East in the military, do you really have free speech? Censored. Honestly, censorship. I want uh, every uh, Republican who made fun of Brian Williams for that whole saga to do the same here with J.R. Majewski. Let's go. So authoritarian to uh, pull the rug out from under ass kicker fabulous really a shame um i mean george orwell is just rolling over in his grave right now yeah and uh yeah i almost i mean orwell goes by he or his i think so that's okay um pretty impressive and ladies and gentlemen we end today's show this is like an encore clip right like, like at the end of a concert if he doesn't if if majewski i'm sorry if Patriot, uh, <laughs> confabulist, um, uh, ass kicker doesn't uh, start this uh, press conference with his pronouns, I'm going to be pissed. Oh. With Patriot's pronouns, I'm going to be pissed. The inquiry states, we show one deployment to Cutter from May 2002 to November 2002. What he did, meaning me. Ugh, pause it. Or where he made... Pa- he's Patriot, Patriot his. Pa- Patriot, Patriot's pissed that he... The Patriot's pissed that Patriot was mispronounced. Yeah. Me. Or where he may have went from that location, we do not have visibility on. In fact, the orders and the military records that I've been able to obtained from my personal files shows that all of my deployments are listed as classified. This was a strategic (laughs) and strategically placed, excuse me, to crush me and defame me with a fake. The inquiry states, we show one deployment. Yeah, that's it. So uh, it's classified. And that's why the AP couldn't get a hold of it. This <laughs> the intrigue grows. <laughs> Ooh. I want to. This guy 
he could kill somebody with so a pencil. This is harder than nailing down Lee Harvey Oswald service. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> and and hopefully though, some of uh, Patriots' former colleagues in the military will will clear this up, right? Yeah. But they might just they're they're in black ops, right? They're undercover right now, so can't get any verification from them. Cannot. Uh... Cannot uh, confirm or deny the existence of Majewski. Cannot confirm or deny whether he was one of the elite killing machines that we have in the military. Whether we could, what? Uh, Patriot, Patriot was. was. Yeah. Right. We could tell you about Patriot, but we'd have to kill you first. That's right. Majewski. Maybe that's not even Patriot's yeah, Chad's name. saying he was on a mission with Steven Seagal. That sounds right. <laughs> Bradley in absentia, Matt, Emma, great job today, folks. Uh, Shana Tova to uh, those of you who celebrate the Jewish New Year. I will be out on Monday celebrating the Jewish New Year with uh, the fam. Uh, back on Tuesday, Emma will be here on Monday. Bye bye. In that street, that guy. To get to where I want But I know somehow I'm gonna get there I wasn't looking when